Hello everyone, Jeroz Koskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this episode of the assembly of the IF-18 II I gonna um, assembly the um, pretty much the, the finishing of the car uh, in the first episode I uh, assembly the front end in the second one the rear end and now I'm gonna assembly the brake system the main shaft the top deck the shocks so uh, come with me and uh, you will see how I do it and first we're gonna start assembly back K and that's the brake system and the main shaft and here all the parts from back K take the brake mount bulkhead take the cylinder and use a little bit of SMJ grease put it in and now put in the brake shaft and make sure the piston is on the right side now put in the bearings on the top and in the bottom and hold it with a clip now install the brake pads onto the brake mount and use the inside holes. Install the 10 mm screw and the brake can be attached easily. Check now if the brake system works. That's done. Now the assembly of the uh, main shaft mount and the uh, brake mount so make sure that uh, the plastic insert is uh, smooth again so take off the uh, plastic and make it smooth put in the uh, inserts put in the bearing and now install it onto the chassis now install the main shaft onto the car using the set screw and also prepare the pulley holder for the outside make sure this is smooth and clean hold it with a clip and use the plier now install the brake dish take the main shaft Put the big pulley on the brake disc holder. Put the big clip in the middle. Take a big plier for this. And install the side pulley. For the set screw here and here, you can use also Loctite. Make sure the set screw is screwed all the way down on the flat spot of the main shaft and the pulley is all the way pushed down to the e-clip make sure it's free and check the belt tension that's done now the assembly of back L this is the two speed and the first and second gear so these are the parts for the two speed first install the spur gear on the second gear and the first one way for the second gear you use the super short screw and for the first gear standard six millimeter screw the first gear comes with a 62 spur gear don't over tight the screw otherwise it strips the plastic from the spur gear make sure the number of how many tooth is on the outside and this say 62 the second gear is the 58 and it comes on the two speed bell and make sure to have the number on the outside 58 push it down and now screw it with a m3 times 5 the shorter one and again don't over tight make sure the screw is deep enough so it won't stick out now install the bearings these are done so now the assembly of the two speed first put in a set screw I first use the wrench and put it through the two speed shoe 
take the set screw, take this piece already and screw it in from the inside. If you do it like this, you won't damage too much the uh, outside of the two-speed shoe. Start to put the set screw almost to the surface of the uh, two-speed shoe. And if this is done, make sure this is smooth and you don't have any plastic, everything is smooth. So now screw them together. First put in the weights. Now tie the screw for the other side. Now tie the screw and a good starting point for me is about 4.6 millimeter. Of course it all depends on the engine, the track and also the two speed how much this has to be exactly and make sure that both sides are screwed in at the same so they're both coming out at the same time and now tight the set screw here so the two speed hub can still have a little bit play but not too much of course the final adjustment for the two speed has to be done at the track now I will install the two speed take the pin take the two speed take the second gear bell and now I put a 0.2 millimeter shim between the first and second gear and now I put the e-clip on. So that's done. Now continue with the back M. That's the rear body mount, the uh, center bulkhead, the uh, middle pulley and uh, the uh, adjustable uh, belt tensioner. And these are all the parts from back M. So these are the parts for the rear body mount. First attach the rear body mount post to the rear center plate. Adjust the body mount post that it's about 16 mm. Now attach the center plate to the rear body mount. Now attach the body post to the rear body mount. Hold it with the pliers. And point that the body clip goes in this way. Now attach the plastic screw and adjust it and uh, a good default setting is about 20 millimeter it all depends on how high you want to run your body and which body you use the body mount is done now place the body mount link onto the upright use a special screw like this i usually use the lower hole so the body mount is the highest position. Screw it in till it's still free and doesn't bind. Make sure that the body mount linkage is uh, moving free like this and has minimum play. Now attach the rear body mount onto the car and for this I use the outside hole and tied it with a 1.5. Make sure that the suspension is still working for you. Install the center bulkhead now and use the shims under the bulkhead first. Now place the M4 times 6 head screw and now mount it on the chassis. That's done. Now attach the roll bar and tied it with the side screw. Now install the belt tensioner, put the bearing in, take the bushing, take the screw and mount it on the carbon piece. And when you lose the screw, you can change the belt tension and if you find the right belt tension, you can tie the screw. And now place the carbon piece with the belt tensioner onto the bulkhead. Now place the middle belt onto the car. Start with the rear pulley and on the end the front pulley. 
Now you can make a final adjustment for the belt tensioner. Now we continue back end and that's uh, the fuel tank, the top deck, the radio tray and the lower battery plate. These are the parts of back end. In this video I will not install the servos yet so I only will attach the radio tray onto the top deck. First install all three fuel tank posts. Then install the linkage post. And now attach the radio tray onto the top deck. That's done. And this is how you prepare the linkage set for the throttle and the brake. First put the bearing. This has to work free with minimum play. First adjust that this is free and after put the ball end on and tie it with a 2.5. Now take the small linkage and put the ball end on. You can hold the linkage with a plier. Now take two springs, put it through and attach the stopper onto the linkage. Later on you can find adjust this. Now take the brake linkage, put it through, put a fuel line over it and screw this on. When the engine and the servos are installed you can make fine adjustments with the linkage set. Now put the linkage set onto the top deck and tie it with a 6mm screw. Make sure this is also working free. Now I will install the top deck onto the car. Tight all six front screws plus the middle one. Tight everything gently. Now the front screws are done. Now the rear screw and also tie this very gently, otherwise you're gonna strip the plastic. Now the installation of the brake lever. Take the brake lever and the brake linkage and tie it with the stopper. Now take the pin. Take the brake lever and tie it. And check if the brake works. Now the installation of the fuel tank. First take the o-ring, take the fuel tank and put the body clip on all three. So the assembly of the car is almost done. Now we're gonna continue with the shocks. And now the assembly of the shocks, back zero one. And these are all the parts for the shocks. First remove all the plastic, take a cutting knife and make it smooth. First prepare the shock shaft with the piston. The front shocks they have a short shock shaft with a one hole piston 1.3 millimeter. The rear shocks they have long shock shaft with two hole piston 1.1 millimeter. Now take the shim, take the piston, take the nut. Now hold the shock shaft and screw on the nut. Screw on the nut that the piston has no play but it can still move a little bit. Do that with all four. Now I prepare the shock body and first I take a little bit of silicone oil. This is 600. This is also going to be the default shock oil that I'm going to use. Put a little bit shock oil on the o-ring and put it inside the shock body. The 1.8 shocks, they have two o-ring. And after the two o-ring, the plastic shim will be inside. Now take the seal rubber, add a little bit oil Put it there. 
now close now take the shock spring adjuster first take the oil again and put a little bit on the o-ring put it inside the spring adjuster and now screw it on the shock body do that with all four now put in the shock shaft into the shock body and check if it works free take the shock shaft tool and screw on the ball end a good starting setup for the front shocks is 12 mm length and a good starting setup for the rear is about 14.5 mm now fill up the shock and a good starting setup is with 600 oil now remove all the air bubble by pushing the piston up and down let the shock stay for a little bit to get the air bubbles out when the bubbles are gone you can put on the diagram or the bladder push the shock shaft almost all the way to the top put on the diagram on and let the shock bleed that means remove the oil from the shock take for this a little bit of a tissue and when the shock shaft is almost to the top and the shock is not longer bleeding you now can close the shock usually when you build it like this the shock have minimum rebound like this and the shocks are done now put on the shock springs in the rear we use a long spring it's the 7 turn 1.9 it's a very nice spring works really nice adjust the shock tension about three millimeter put on the spring put on the spring holder check if it works free for the front shock we use a shorter spring also 1.9 six turn works really well put it on and adjust the spring tension about 8 mm for a good default setting and put on the spring holder now put on the rear shock the ball end is already there so you can easily click it on now put on the front shocks and also here you can click it on and check if the shock can work freely now the assembly of the car is done so thank you for watching the uh, assembly of the uh, IF18 2 Infinity car um, of course the assembly of the car is done uh, the car is not yet finished of course it needs uh, electronics, servos, need an engine um, need tires, need a body shell. So uh, in the next uh, videos I will uh, show you uh, the step by step to finish the car completely. So stay tuned for more videos.